I'm making a stick uh, to help me gauge the bottom of this and so I'm just taking a French curve and just kind of I don't know just drawing out what I think I marked my curve where I touched it on the other side so I can get it roughly the same on both sides All right, so here is the sweep that, I guess it's a sweep, I don't know what this thing's called, that we made to form the dish out part of our bird bath. And I just, we drilled that hole through there and I put a carriage bolt in there. And when you put it in, it's gonna stand up, stand out a little bit because there's a square piece or part right here. Just hit it with a hammer and knock it down in there. And then I took, I've got a board that I put a hole right in, I measured from the middle, the middle this way. And then on the end I've put a mark where the middle of the board is and then on this side over on this side I've put a mark where the middle is so when I put this together I'm gonna drop a washer on top put that right there another washer and a nut now if I put this if I line it up on the marks so now this is in the center this way and this way now I'm going to look and make sure now so when you make your follower or your sweep or whatever I don't know what this thing's called okay when you make your sweep put it in here and you want to look and we want to make sure see we still got we've still got good thickness right here and good thickness right here because if this was way over here like this and we swept that out when we poured it our lip would fall off because there wouldn't be enough strength enough concrete left here or here and it would break off so we got you got to make sure that you leave enough thickness and that's a good it's a good half inch in there so I think we'll be perfectly fine all right so to make the little divot in the bottom of the uh, bird bath to set on top of that little piece of rebar that's going to stick out the top of the pedestal I just cut a half inch this is half inch uh, PVC pipe and I've cut it half inch thick and so now I need to find the center of this. Put that right in the middle, and I'm actually just going to hot glue that in. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill it with hot glue so concrete won't get down in there. All right, there we go. I'll let that set up, and uh, that should work pretty well. Well, it's the next morning, and uh, let's take these screws out and see how they are. Okay, well, that worked pretty good. Oh, you know what? I need to do this first. So we can get this back together. Let's put some witness marks on the sides. So let's see about getting these screw these uh, nails set. I'm just taking a regular nail set. Got some beads of glue right here. All right, I got a gap right here which I could caulk, but I'd have to wait till tomorrow. So I'm gonna stick this little wood, got a little sliver of wood that I'm gonna slide up in there and hopefully that'll work. All right, so I'm oiling this. This is just, this is some old uh, 30 weight, I don't know what that is. Probably some kind of cheap oil from uh, TSC or something. Some 30 weight oil I got laying around. Um, I would have used probably any oil I had laying around. All right now I'm just going to uh, get a coat on this and then I'll get it screwed down on top of there. All right, I'm going to get the bottom screwed on there. So 
Just going to add a couple screws to hold this together. And then I'll do that again on the other side. All right, so I got it turned upside down. This is how we're going to pour it. And I've got the rebar just sitting on the bottom, and I've marked it. So I'm going to cut that off, and then when I drive it into that hole that we drilled, it'll actually be below the concrete just a little bit. All right, so there it is. Um, cut off and driven down in there. I'm thinking that's actually going to be a little... Well, I don't know if I can get it back out of there now. So I'll probably just go ahead and pour it like that, and then I can always cut the rebar off on the end later, which um, I'll be sorry later. All right, I'm going to get all this painted with the oil. Right, we're going to get the inside oiled, and our little piece of PVC we got in there is nice and tight now. Okay, I think that's ready to pour. Um, I just put a liberal coat on there. You know, people will say, oh, you got to be careful not to put too much or be sure you put enough. And just don't worry about that. Just slop some on there. That's what I did. Hopefully it'll work. And this, I'm expecting this PVC to come out with the concrete. Uh, but if, it's, if it stays, uh, that'll be good too. So to mix the concrete, um, I'm using Portland and sand and gravel separately. But you can just buy... Uh, a bag of ready mix would be a whole lot easier and I'm using the standard one two three method of one of Portland two of sand Three of gravel and that's going to be my standard mix like I said if you just buy ready mix then you just dump it in there and add water until uh, you get the consistency you want I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna double that so I'm gonna put a little more I'm gonna do one more batch all right and now when I shake it See how it levels out? That's what I'm looking for. All right, let's start filling this form. Then I'm just going to kind of shake it. What that's doing is getting the air bubbles out. All right, I got a second batch made. All right, I got our another batch made. All right, we're going to call that one done. Now we'll move to the the bird bath itself. All right, I'm going to start by just filling the bottom. Okay, just curious. Okay, I'm gonna make another batch. This was this was brought us to batch number three, and now I'm getting ready to make one more batch, and then hopefully that'll do us. All right, now I'm gonna start building this more around the sides. All right, I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna get this put in.
This is used for cake decorating. You can get them anywhere you would get cake decorating supplies. And I'm just going to use it to kind of smooth this out a little bit. All right, now I'm going to let this just sit and harden up a little bit. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. It's hot out here, so that affects it. But I'm going to go ahead and see if I can start kind of finishing it. Still seems a little soft. All right, so I think that's gonna be it. I've got it pretty smooth and no real holes in it, so I'm gonna let this dry. I got a fan on it right now, I'm, cause I'm actually kind of in a hurry, I gotta get to work. But I'm gonna uh, let this sit here and then tonight I'll cover it with some plastic and then let it sit for a few days before I unmold it. All right, it's, it's uh, good and hard and it's actually been four days, but uh, I wouldn't have had to wait that long. I probably could have uh, taken it out of the mold in one, one day, but um, I was at work, so I'm just now getting back to it. All right, I'm going to get this unmolded. Okay, you can see I left that corner off of there, unfortunately. But I'm going to try. I'm going to get a little. I'll get a little cement, mix it up, and I'll stick that back on there. The rest of it, I think I'm pretty happy with. And here's our plug that we put in there. Okay, well the whole thing came out, but that'll work. I just need something to kind of center up on that uh, on that piece of rebar. All right, let's get the pedestal taken out. So here's the corner that I broke off and I've mixed up some uh, mortar with uh, Portland cement, one part Portland cement and two parts sand. So now what I'm going to do is just sort of butter this in here, thinking I'm going to stick it back on just like you would lay a brick. Alright, we'll let that dry. All right, so to place the bird bath, um, the first thing you got to do is find you a level spot, and uh, I'm putting mine on the side of a hill, so I had to make a level spot. But just get you a level and level it out, just pretty close, starting out this way and this way, and then we're going to place our bird bath and level up the sides. All right, that's got our pedestal nice and level. I just kind of had to maneuver some rocks around the back to get it um, leveled up. And then we'll place the bowl. Now remember, you've got a hole on the bottom that's got to line up on that pin. <clears throat> just like that. All right, now I want to check the bowl just to make sure. It's pretty darn good. All right, we'll get it filled up. All right, that's got our bowl filled. And one of the reasons why I made this uh, shallow, I mean, you can see it's still plenty deep. You don't, can't have it too deep for the birds to take a bath in anyway. You know, they're not ducks. So anyway, uh, I had a bird bath years ago that had these gentle sloping sides and it wasn't just real deep. And the thing I liked about it was when it comes time to clean it out, you just shoot a stream at it, it'll wash all the dirt out, it'll wash all the water out, and then you can sweep anything else out of it, just like that. 
get all your bird dew off, and then fill it back up. That's got it all placed, filled up, and uh, ready for the birds. I hope you enjoyed this project. Thank you for watching.